Welcome back to Whole Brain Coffee. Today we'll be taking a look at this Illy Classico. Made in Italy, it's a medium roast, a blend of nine Arabicas from all around the world. Illy presents its, uh, themselves as a, more of a premium option for coffee. And this little 250 gram can is around $15 which is quite expensive, and I think part of that comes from the fact that they use a proprietary oxygen-free package here that supposedly is pressurized and is used to preserve the flavor and uh, prevent it from oxidizing over a long period of time. So um, with this particular coffee, um, so we did we did open it already to go ahead and you know, just get a look at the beans and whatnot. So to let you know, uh, when we open it, it's not it's not going to be sealed. Um, but when you open it, you do notice that there is a little pop cap to be able to release the seal um, to open up the coffee container and you can go ahead and see the beans and observe from there. Being that there is a very significant pride in Italian coffee culture and that Italy markets itself as being one of the premier brands, if not the premier brand in Italy for the representation of that coffee culture. We thought that we'd be remiss to not give it a try and see if it is in fact up to snuff with its claims. Now when you open this can, you did notice something about the beans. Yeah, Correct. We, we do need to talk about that. So I did open the can. I did smell it. I don't know if it was a bad batch or maybe, maybe not. But it seemed to me that the beans might have experienced a little bit of um, oxidizing, but but just the most minor sort, but enough to where there is a slight tinge of a chemical smell. But um, we'll see if this has changed in the meantime since opening. If there's maybe just you know, need to be some gas that's been released from the coffee or if brewing it will yield different results. So we'll need to go ahead and test it under scrutiny of the whole brain scale. We'll use the V60 pour over method to get a more lucid taste for the coffee so we can properly assess it and give it a objective score. So the pressurization may or may not have worked, but I guess uh, that's what we're gonna find out here today. We'll find out today. So what do you say we get brewing? Let's get brewing. Let's get brewing. We are back, we are all brewed up, ready to taste and review. Yes, absolutely. So um, with this, um, again, we're gonna try and give you the most objective opinion that we can possibly uh, give you for this particular kind of coffee. Um, we really want to give this coffee a good score, I think. We're hoping that the batch wasn't bad, we're hoping that the coffee itself actually stands up to scrutiny, but Again, we'll, we'll be the judges of that. We'll see and we'll measure it up against the scrutiny of the whole brain score. Yep. No biases here, but upon opening this can, it does smell, uh, it's, uh, it kind of smells kind of bad. You know, there's no sugar coating it. Yeah. It's, it's a little um, disturbing to the olfactory receptors and it doesn't smell good. But while brewing it, it smelled a lot better than it smelled before it was brewed. So perhaps mm. the final result so we'll hold up. Yes, far better than we anticipated, perhaps. So, we are ready to taste, ready to test. And if you guys have a cup at home, cheers to you as well. Cheers to you as well. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. I don't think it's that bad. There is definitely up front, the, there's a very abrasive chemical acidity right off the bat. There, there's no sugar coating that, there is for sure. The back palate is pretty standard affair. It's nothing super exceptional. You, if you can overlook the chemical acidity that has tarnished the majority of your taste buds at this point, or mine rather, you can find a little ever so slight hint of maybe chocolate and a mild fruit, potentially, maybe a stone fruit of some kind. But other than that, it's just bad. Oh, it's actually uh, worse. It's actually worse. I don't know. I would have to disagree with you a little bit. I don't think it's that bad. It's, it's strong. It's um, 
chemically. Ugh. It's, it's I just taste chemicals. I yeah. just taste chemicals, which is unfortunate because I would love to try a different batch. We might actually revisit this batch. That being the case, because I want to believe that it's not Illy's coffee, but rather, unfortunately, we might have just picked up a bad batch at the store. I really want to believe that this coffee is actually far better, generally, than the time we're having it right now, because as it stands, I can't in good conscience recommend this presently. But again, I would like to revisit this, but as it stands, I gotta, I gotta give it a two on the whole brain scale, I can't. So what do you think? You think the Francesa Sotto Prisioni? Perfect. Didn't hold up? No. No. So good. perhaps this can was compromised, or perhaps the beans were compromised, mm -hmm. or perhaps um, it's just a bad coffee. Okay. But I wouldn't give it a two personally. You know, wait. wait so why, why don't you give it a score and then Illy go ahead and give it a score? And Illy go ahead and. Give <laughs> <laughs> we just have Illy review. You it already on gave it a score. I just really wanted to say that. Yeah. Fair, so if fair you gave it a two, I'll give it maybe a. I'll give it like a three and a half. It's a good score. No, it's not a good score. It's a very bad score. <laughs> right. Especially for the price. Especially right. for the claim. That's that they true. Made. With like a $15 can like this? Yeah, for $15 for 8.8 .8 ounces, no. 250 grams for you European folks out there. It's quite expensive, and I don't think you really get your money's worth. $15. No. I feel as though I can taste a potential in the bean for there to be some flavor, but it's ruined by whatever sort of chemicals the coffee is just tainted by. There's just something in the process that went horribly, horribly wrong. Whether the CO2 just caused the beans to oxidize or something else occurred, I don't know, but it has this awful chemical taste and I want to recommend it, but for this batch, I can't. I tell you what though, Something about this tasting kind of rough and harsh and a little bit gross. I could see myself drinking this outside of, you know, Satriani's uh, meat shop, along with a couple of uh, the Sopranos guys. And, Joe Satriani's you know, meat th shop. This, sound, this does kind of taste like something like, a, you know, stereotypes notwithstanding. Something you drink outside of a place that you know, a couple murders have gone down in the basement. That well, seems appropriate. It's the only coffee you drink because it's the only coffee that's around and it's what the fellas drink. So, 3.5 and a 2 on the whole brain scale. One of the worst premium coffees we've probably had here. That It might take that spot, in fact. And, and I'm sorry, I, I wanted to give this a better score, but again, I haven't repeated myself, but I couldn't. And with that being said, there you have it guys, we can't really recommend this, unless you are maybe a mob guy, you might enjoy it. Yeah, potentially. So, um, hope you liked this video, hope it was insightful for you. Um, when you get a chance, go ahead and comment down below. Have you tried Illy? Let us know what you think about it. Have you not tried it? Are you curious about it? Have some questions. Either way, let us know what you think, let us know what your thoughts are. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, if you want to see more content like this. And until the next time we see you, keep using your whole brain. And also, if you want to sponsor us, go ahead. Go ahead, please. We welcome it. We do welcome it. Unless you're a video game. A mobile game, we're not gonna. Yeah. No mobile games. Yeah, that's true. But anything coffee related, we'll go ahead and take that sponsorship. Sure, sure. So, uh, until then, take care. Take care.